I hope by now you know our founding sister's name, Eugenia Tucker Fitzgerald. Eugenia was actually kind of a genius because she was the very first sorority woman. I mean, think about it. There was no Google search bar, how do you start a sorority? There were no books in the library or how to start a sorority for dummies. This was something all brand new. And for the blueprint for the very first secret society, like how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this well? And what are the qualifications of our members going forward for generations to come? The cool thing about this is Eugenia looked to her Bible with its worn leather pages. She looked to the 15th Psalm for the blueprint, the makeup, the very foundation for what we call Alpha Delta Pi. We recite the 15th Psalm in the King James Version in chapter meetings. And I know when I was a college student, I had no idea what those words meant. I hope to unpack these for you today to put these in common language to help you understand the beautiful roots of why we stand as a sisterhood and what these words mean to characterize our members. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? That simply translates, Lord, who can be a part of this? When Eugenia was first forming this first secret society, she wanted to know, Lord, who can be a part? What are we looking for as characteristics for our members? And then it really just goes on to describe these characteristics. He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness. Someone who lives free of blame and does good. He that backbiteth not with his tongue. Or someone who doesn't harm others with their speech and doesn't harm others with insults or disrespect. Note, fear of the Lord does not mean to be afraid. I know when I was your age, this stood out to me, and I remember asking our chaplain at the time, what does it mean to be fearful of the Lord? Like, I, I didn't understand what that meant. But a truer translation, especially for modern day, means just respect and honor. That God is the leader of our steps, the leader of this organization of women, and the leader as we move forward. He that sweareth to his own hurt and changeth not. Someone who keeps their promises, even when it hurts. He that putteth not out his money to usury. Or someone who doesn't lend money with interest. Someone who is generous. Nor taketh up reward against the innocent. Or someone who doesn't gain money or fame or likes by causing harm to others. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. These characteristics of noble character are the very blueprint for our first founding sisters. And going forward, every member of Alpha Delta Pi, we look for women of noble character. Women who are generous, who don't gossip, who love and truly sharpen each other. This was the dream of the very first sorority, and I do not believe we are too far gone. It's so important to remember our roots, to remember our founders. Did you know that Eugenia and the first five founders of our sorority later went on to either become missionaries or pastor's wives? These were women of great faith. These were women who held each other to a higher standard. I like to think of this in today's culture of women who saying, girlfriend, I will not let you go home with that guy. Girlfriend, I will not let you have another crown and Coke tonight. And friend, I see better than you than you see in yourself. And I know this major is hard, but you are stronger than you think you are. And I will hold you up when you feel like you can't stand on your own. This is sisterhood at its finest. Girls who hold each other up. Girls who look at each other and say, I see something incredible in you, even when you can't see it in yourself. Sisters of the very first and finest sorority, let's get back to remember what the 15th Psalm means. How can we pray for each other as sisters? How can we be there when we need each other? And how can we hold each other to a higher standard? There's a great quote that says, remembering where you've been helps you to know where you're going. Remembering our founders' dreams helps us know how to move forward, going forward in recruitment, going forward in how we characterize ourselves as members. Knowing how our founders dreamed of the sisterhood will help us move forward correctly in the future. I'd like to think if Eugenia was back today and she opened up her 15th Psalm and she read to us why we exist and the characteristics of our members she would look at the women who are collegiates today and be so proud that her members are carrying out our traditions, living to a higher standard, having noble character, and fighting for what is true and right in loving each other. 
sorority is a beautiful thing, and I can't help but think Alpha Delta Pi is kind of the best. I encourage you to keep being the best, to keep striving for that incredible sisterhood, to keep sharpening each other, holding each other to a higher standard. Thank you for being the first and the finest.